And we continue our coverage on a developing story out of Franklin County tonight. A man was sentenced to 29 years in prison for trying to kill his ex-wife. That sentence was handed down earlier this afternoon, and we've learned there are plans to file an appeal. News 3's Danny Valle spent his day at the Franklin County Courthouse, and he joins us in the newsroom now with the very latest. Hey, Mark, Julie just got back to the newsroom about a half hour ago. That sentencing hearing starting today at 1:30, lasting about two hours, and it began with Eric Wakefield, the defendant, telling the judge to dismiss his defense attorney so that Wakefield can represent himself. The judge denied that motion. Now, Wakefield maintained his defense, saying he was hit several times in the head, accusing Deborah Nichols of sending aggressors to attack him on the morning of September 26, 2019. Wakefield also accused his attorney of not doing enough for his defense and said some of the evidence was tampered with, but the judge disagreed and told Wakefield that the jury proved he tried to kill Nichols, his ex-wife of 15 years, without showing any remorse. We caught up with Nichols moments after the sentencing, and she says now the healing can begin. It was long. It was really long, and it's been a long time coming, and we've all been waiting to hear it. When the judge imposed the sentence, we were all so happy. Just glad I'll never have to see him again. I have nothing more to say to him. He's a very evil man. You saw Nichols there flanked by her children, her daughter and son. Wakefield again sentenced to 29 years in prison. All of it to be sentenced consecutively. He got 21 years for attempted murder, also six years for aggravated battery. Now Nichols, her daughter and son each giving victim impact statements this afternoon. We're going to hear more from Nichols and her children tonight at six. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Danny Valle, News 3.